I'm Cordelia Storm with Parkour Visions and I'm going to teach you how to do a butterfly kick and a trickers aerial. So before trying to learn a butterfly kick or an aerial, you want to make sure that you first know how to do a cartwheel. So if you don't know how to do a cartwheel, go and learn a cartwheel. <laughs> so this is what a butterfly kick looks like. And this is what an aerial looks like. So step one, your foot placement. So if you cartwheel to the right, that means your right foot is gonna be your jumping leg and your left foot is gonna be your kicking leg. Using your kicking leg, see if you can get a little bit of height off the ground. Then, using your kicking leg, try to kick up and get a little bit of a floaty feeling and then switch your feet. Now, we're gonna add a little bit of rotation to it. During a butterfly kick, your feet are doing the exact same thing that we just did without adding any rotation. The only place that rotation comes from in a butterfly kick is from your chest, not from your legs. So the rotation of your chest starts with you standing facing forward and you're going to turn your chest and look backwards behind you. And then when you look backwards, that's what's going to create the rotation. As you look backwards, that's where you're going to add the kick kick. And then the last part to a butterfly kick is ending back where you faced. So you're gonna start facing forwards, you're gonna look backwards, and when you finish your rotation, you should end facing forwards again. It looks like this. And that's a butterfly kick. Okay, now to learning the aerial, the trickers aerial. It's uh, a trickers aerial because it's actually closer to a butterfly kick than it is to a cartwheel. It doesn't go exactly straight overhead, unlike a gymnastics aerial. So the prerequisite for a trickers aerial is to be able to do a butterfly kick. So you'll notice when you do a butterfly kick, your body is fairly horizontal. You look horizontal as well. You look behind you horizontally. Now, in order to start doing an aerial, instead of having that gaze stay horizontal, you're gonna to start to try to look a little bit more down every time that you practice. And down. That will have your head start to go lower to the ground. And then as your head is going lower to the ground, your feet are gonna kick a little bit higher every single time. So here's a couple attempts, starting from a butterfly kick, where I'm gonna start working my way down, where I'm looking more at the ground and kicking my feet higher every single time until I get to an aerial. And that's how you do an aerial. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. 